The Magic Show is brought to you by StarCityGames.com, and check this out. The super sweet Ion deck boxes held closed via a magnet and encased in leather are currently available at StarCityGames.com for only $9.99 each. Or you can grab a full set of five for just $44.99. To keep your deck well protected and looking good, pick up your Ion deck box from StarCityGames.com today. Hi, this is Jay and Dean, and welcome to The Magic Show. Death Cloud because it kicks ass. I'm playing a rock, uh, playing Deeds and Bayloth. Uh, it's pretty good against the field, I think. I'm playing Infinity because I don't have Tarma Wars. Uh, I'm playing Scepter Chant with Tron in it. Does this microphone work? Because like Scepter Chant beats a lot of decks in the meta game. They just don't have an answer to it. And Degree of Justice beats the Mono Blue deck. So like, only bad matchup really is Blue Green Tron. I'm playing Blue Green Tron because. It's, you can pretty much just get walk with it, and it, it it's decent in the format, and it plays like second at the Grand Prix. I'm playing No Stick because uh, I think it's the best deck in the format. I'm playing the Quiet Speculation Mind Desire Pyromancer Swap Grape Shot deck. I'm playing it because me and Billy Moreno have been working on it for about a week and a half or so, and then I was going to save it up for the GP because I thought I was going to be really good for then. But it was in Brian David Marshall's article on Friday, so I decided to play it the last minute since it was already out. Today I'm playing Death Cloud. Uh, the reason that I chose Death Cloud was that I felt it was pretty good for the metagame. Um, it may be a, like maybe one or two weeks old, but I'm very, very comfortable with the deck. And in playtesting and through proper boarding, I felt that it was about a 50-50 matchup with the majority of the environment. I'm playing Blue-Green Tron. Um, I actually built the deck about two months ago, and it showed up out of nowhere. I was using Cloud Posts and Vesuvas. It showed up out of nowhere to, for me, and uh, I saw they were running Tron lands and decided, hey, this deck's actually good when I saw it in PTQ Top 8. So I switched it out, and I'm sticking with the deck. I'm playing uh, Mono Red Burn, and just because it's quick, easy, and as I hate Triumphs as anything control. Playing Affinity, um, I feel like it's fast, it's mindless. Uh, I wanted to play something that would allow me to play and at least compete without providing ample opportunity for me to lose the game for myself. So I went with the deck that I felt like had fewer player errors, relevant player errors possible. I chose to play previous level blue today. I chose the deck because I really wanted to play a blue deck. I haven't played one yet this season. I've been playing like Death Cloud and Mono Red just because I don't want to think a whole lot generally. I figured today since I, I'm already here and I live here, I can get sleep. I can play a counter spell deck and maybe I'd be alright. Oh, did they? No, I didn't know that. Oh, I don't know. I haven't even watched the rotation. Okay. <laughs> when did they change it? Yes, sir. So what's the rotation? Which is Sacklands. Yes. Ooh, sexy time. That's right. It seems better. Because you get, I mean, less sets are going out, especially this time. You get the Sackland stay, some other things out of those sets. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's cool because I still get to play Zoo. It's good enough for me. That's all I play. I like the rotation change. The like 200 bucks I dropped on fetch lands this season won't uh, won't be gone in six months. You'll still see a lot of the same kind of decks though. Everyone's gonna have fun for another season. <laughs> it won't really hurt me because I really don't play that much stuff out of those sets. Because basically I'm just like playing Mirrored and Block and like Tron lands and stuff, so it's really not gonna hurt me. I hate counterbalance. I think it makes the format unfun. Um, playing that game is pretty terrible. I think I would probably rather fall down a flight of stairs than have to play counterbalance. No, I don't think anything's overpowered. I know people say counterbalance, but really that just stops decks that cost three or less most of the time. And Dredge, 
nothing in that's really extra powerful. You just bring in extirpate and they lose. So, or they just get a really bad hand and they lose anyways. No, I think everything's fine. I mean, um, I don't see anything as a big threat that scares the hell out of everybody, you know? I actually did think they should have been Tarmogoyf. Um, I know they won't because it's... Well, if you think about it, it's just a card that everyone wants to play four of. Everyone wants to pl splash it in every deck now, and it's just... If a card is seeing that much play, you think... I automatically think Bannon. That's just how my mind thinks. The only thing they could ban is Tarmogoyf, but he's not that good. Um, he just, he's overpowered, but he's not, you know, really too good. They might have needed to ban Tarmogoyf just because it's a really good card in the format. And, like, it's just very unstoppable. Since it is a Vitop's really obnoxious because it just slows the game down. People shouldn't be going to draws and extended. That's just stupid. And, like, I mean, it's not like the win all card, you know, it's not like, oh, I drew top, I'm going to win the game. But it's just really obnoxious to play around. I think I'd be fine if they went ahead and banned top. Especially with the, with the rotation, it would be the way it is. I mean, being able to, to shuffle your library every turn and then top just seems a little ridiculous. Uh, I would have liked them to ban something in Dredge so you wouldn't have to dedicate your entire sideboard to that. Dredge from below. Card ruins the format. You have, like... Eight cards. If you want to beat Dredge consistently, you have to like seven or eight slots in your sideboard to Dredge, and even then, you know, you, most of the time you're going to lose game one if they just have one of their average draws. Like it's the most powerful deck in the format. And like in such a diverse field, you shouldn't have such a restricted sideboard. I would like to have seen Bridge from Below gone. Um, I don't like decks that force people to play six to seven slots in their sideboard just to be able to compete. And that, that kind of thing irritates me. Like, I want to be able to, to mix my sideboard up, play three to four cards for three to four matchups that are rough for me, you know what I mean? Or, or, or make a, a match that's, that's not so great, that's 60-40, that I can bump it up to 50-50 or maybe 60-40 in my favor. I don't want to have to sideboard in seven cards against one deck just so I even have a chance, you know what I mean? Like, and the fact of the matter is a lot of times when you, when you sideboard those seven cards in, you'll just beat the deck. You know, if you draw two of the two of the seven cards, but then you know what happens is the other eight cards of your deck in your sideboard have to be devoted to the only matchups that are hard, and then you can't fix and make a 50-50 matchup, you know, a 60-40 or 75-25 because you don't have room in your sideboard. I didn't even look at them. Nope. Still no Tarmogoyfs. Not really. Originally this weekend, before my deck got spoiled at the last minute, I was going to play Destructive Flow, because I figured a lot of people were playing Tron, Shion's deck, etc. and Taps. So I figured that would be a good check tech choice for today. My friend's 3-1 and with it now. But since my deck got spoiled, I decided to play it. No. I, was, I had my deck made out about a month ago, and uh, it, it changed some of my teammates' decks, but I, I kept mine about a month ago. No, like, like I said, it was bizarre because I built the deck for some reason, like two months ago. I was like, moments, peace, and life I'm alone. Who needs wrath? <laughs> and it showed up, so... Uh, but yeah, it, it helped me to gain a little more confidence in the deck. Uh, yeah, with Xion winning, and you know, I'm like... I figured some people play previous level blue, and like the deck's kind of just cold the Decree of Justice. Like, it's armed with four Tarmogoyf, you know, that's, and like, four Tarmogoyf, Shackles, and Threads, which doesn't really do anything against one one soldier tokens. Well, Tarmogoyf does, but I mean, if you have a Tron powered Decree, like, what's a 4-5 what's gonna do against, you know, seven one ones? I don't know, man. That's where all the, uh, a lot of casual players like to come out and have a good time. So I, I'm disappointed to see that go too. It does not affect me at all. So whatever, they want to save money, good for them. I think it's the most ridiculous thing they've ever done. I mean, they keep making misstep after misstep and, and I don't want this game to go away. And States is always the most fun that you have. I mean, just for the guy that, you know, it's like I hope to qualify, but States, I mean, I've top eight at States and it's the greatest feeling in the world. I guess pretty terrible, especially for, you know, regular folks that still attend PTQs, because, uh, I mean, that's just another fun tournament that we don't have, you know? It's pretty terrible, I think. It's pretty rough. Um, states is a pretty big competition. I like, I like having States. You know, you got the title and everything. I think it sucks they took it away, though. I didn't really ever go to States. I mean, 
I didn't really ever see no point in it. So I just like play local tournaments and I've been to regionals and stuff like that. It's really obnoxious. I really enjoyed playing states every year. I've played it since I was like 11. And you know, this would be my going on my 10th year of states and it's just kind of obnoxious that they canceled it. I don't think they should have removed states. Uh, it's the first tournament with the new set, you know, with the new block or you know, it's just like everyone and there's always a lot of people that come out who don't normally play in competitive environments that come play in it. It's kind of like pre-release to me, like, you know what I mean? Like, and so you, and I don't understand why they would remove it considering it almost, I mean, the last couple of states I've been to here in Tennessee, it still gathers over 100, you know, 120 people. It's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that kind of turnout. I'm not really sure why they removed it, to tell you the truth. I felt like it was, there was no reason to. I don't really know what to say about states. I don't know, it's not really much EV, so you can't really win anything, you know. You win pride and a plaque. Yeah, like if you're gonna win something, why not win something big and not state champion? I, I don't think it's really gone. Even though what's said, um, I think something's gonna come back in some form or another. That's, that's my feeling, that's my hope. I don't like seeing states go, I think states is good. I think um, I, I heard some stuff like Pete and Star City was talking about how they've diluted the environment with uh, like two-headed giant champs, uh, limited champs. I agree with that totally. I think there should be standard champs. One champ, one champ only. Oh my God, it's the magic show. <laughs>